All right, what's up, YouTube? Counterpunch Boxing. Let me get this adjusted here real quick. Okay, look. You know, I'm going to show you guys the, the latest uh, promotional video from uh, Gold Boy Promotion, Gennady Golovkin, Canelo. Uh, someone put it up in my Facebook group, Counterpunch Boxing. Thought I'd share it with you guys. So, look, you know, the more the more I think about it, my my confidence is is, is growing <laughs> in Gennady Golovkin, and it's not that I doubted him. It's not that I doubted him. I, I I didn't like the soft body. You guys know it. No no need to repeat it. But I looked back. I made a video. You know, top five reasons that Gennady Golovkin beats Canelo, and just reading what I wrote back then. I mean, you know, I I kind of reminded myself. You know, I needed that little bit of a reminder. And, and recently, Gennady Golovkin, he's he's looking like a beast. Really, I like what I see. I mean, he looks focused, determined. Uh, you know, he looks like he's getting stronger. You know, mentally, physically, everything's coming together. Every you know, everything's coming together. And I think maybe their idea was to bring him along slowly, right? Instead of having like a grueling camp. You know, I think like maybe Canelo is having, you know, they're bringing him along at a nice, easy, but productive pace. OK. And uh, I think that's what we're witnessing. You know, I don't think that he's slacking. I don't think that, you know, he's taking it lightly. I, I just think they're going at a different pace. And, you know, and look, even Abel Sanchez, you know, he said, you know, we're going to we're going to take things a little different. This camp will be different. He even said you know, the camp for Canelo will be different than any camp we've ever had. So, but by the way, guys, I'll be getting a new microphone tomorrow. Um, I actually listened to some of my videos with headphones on and I didn't like the, the sound quality, you know, so I'm going to get a good mic tomorrow. Uh, you know, I'll, I usually listen to it like through my speakers and it sounded fine. But then once I had headphones in, it sounded like shit. So I'm going to get a new mic tomorrow. But anyway, I just want to show this to you real quick. Uh, let's see. Where are we at? Where are we at? Yeah. Just got like a minute. But look, let, let me read. Let me read what I wrote, you know, about a month and a half ago. You know, in my top five reasons here, let me back it up a little bit so you guys can get a better look at it. I wrote <clears throat> the number one was the overall experience. Okay, great amateur background, never hurt, never stopped, never wobbled, never been in any kind of a trouble. 400 combined amateur fights and pro fights. Now, there's only 20 to 30 boxers out there right now that have a combined record like that, nearly 400 fights. So he's in 20 in that bracket between 20 and 30 fighters with that with that record. Uh, lost maybe three to five in the amateurs. They they don't really know. You know, no less than three, no more than five. You know, fighting since the age of 15. Back then, you know, he was in a boxing match every week, basically, once a week. You know, back when he was 15, 16, 17. Uh, yeah, like I said, 350 amateur fights. For, you know, nearly 40 professional professional fights, 37-0. and 0. Right now, 33 knockouts. Never been knocked down. Like I said, never wobbled, never touched, never in any kind of trouble. And then it had power, explosive power, over 21 pounds of force. Now, you guys remember... I put out a video talking about how Gennady Golovkin hits like a light heavyweight, and they proved it. Sci I mean, science, look, science doesn't lie. I mean, they scientifically proved that he hits like a Kovalev. I, I, you know what? Fuck that. He hits harder than a Kovalev. I'll tell you right now, Gennady Golovkin, you know, I put a million dollars on it. He hits harder than a Sergei Kovalev, okay? Uh, yeah, I mean, and look, at a minimum, he hits like a light heavyweight, okay? The angles looping over the head, you know, that looping shot he does around the guard, through the guard, the snap on the punches at the end of every punch, the snap, the power, power in both hands, okay? That 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 kinetic chain of energy that I talk about, you know, look what he did to Brooke, destroyed Brooke. And to me, Canelo and Brooke are very similar. 89% knockout ratio, 18 title defenses, only two to go in order to tie Bernard Hopkins' title defense, 21 so, you know, hey, I, I had to remind myself of this, you know, and I'm just quickly looking over the stuff that I, that I wrote, and, uh, you know, I'm just like, wow, you know, 89% knockout ratio, 18 title defenses, you know, about to tie Bernard Hopkins' record, you know, I'm, I'm looking at this, and, you know, there's no, there's no way Canelo's winning, and, you know, a lot of you guys out there, I don't like it, they're like, oh, this channel, y'all, you know, you're nut huggers, and, you know, you're always, like, you know, riding Gennady's nuts, or what the fuck ever, you know, you know what, no, 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 it's not that, it's not that, it's not that at all, you know, what it is, you know, finally, Canelo has put in, has, has put himself, actually, into a vulnerable situation, and we just tell the truth on the channel, 
That's it. I mean, what do you want me to do? Get on here and lie to you? You know, oh, I think it's, you know, an even fight. You know, I, look, in the beginning, I had it pretty much right down the middle. You know, it's a pick em fight. It can go either way. But right now, no. Right now, you know, I'm I'm probably like 60-40 Gennady Golovkin right now. And, and now, keep in mind... Keep in mind, hit the brakes, hit the brakes. Keep in mind, that's given there's no corruption, no bull. I mean, look at this. Look at that brutal training. God damn. You know, shoot. I'm telling look, I guarantee you 90% of you guys out there couldn't last 10 seconds doing that kind of shit. I don't care. You know, that's the thing. You know, all these, these, these uh, armchair quarterbacks, you know, I'm telling you, man, boxing is brutal, okay? Look, let me get you a little Canelo footage if I can. I don't, I've never tried this. Let me see. Uh, yeah, here we go. Just to give you guys a little something to look at. This is, uh, when I was, uh, covering Canelo Chavez. So, but anyway, like I said, the more I think about it, you know, the more, I mean, I'm convinced, you know, and by the way, on a, on a, on just a quick side note, Willie Monroe Jr. and, uh, what's his name? Uh, Billy Joe Saunders <laughs> will be fighting on the same night. Why? I don't know. I mean, it, to me, it's like an act of desperation. But Billy Joe Saunders, 24-0, 12 knockouts. I mean, look, since 2014, he, you know, he went up against Eubanks. What the fuck has he done since then, right? To be talking that kind of mad shit about Gennady Golovkin. Now, he's accusing Gennady Golovkin of being on PEDs, right? That's the thing. He's like, well, you notice, you know, now that he's in the clean boxing program with, uh, you know, getting tested through VADA and the WBC, he's going down. He's like fading. This is, this is you know, Saunders' logic, okay? Uh, but up against William Monroe, Monroe Jr., 21 and 2. Now, since Monroe Jr. lost to Gennady Golovkin, he's already beat uh, Thomas and Gabriel Rosado, which, you know what? I was actually surprised that he beat Rosado. I really was. I mean, I kind of had Gabriel Rosado win in that fight because we all know Monroe Jr., he's a little bit chinny. Now, in a Billy Joe Saunders Monroe Jr. fight, who do I pick? I'm not picking because I don't care. I simply don't care. You know, people keep asking me, like, who I'm going to pick, and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know because I don't care. I don't give a shit. I really don't care. It doesn't matter. So, fuck, it doesn't. I mean, there could be, like, some, you know, round one knockout. I, I don't care. You know, I don't think either one of those guys could carry Golovkin's bag, you know, so I don't care. You know, um, I think Billy Joe Saunders, he's a loud mouth and, you know, he tries to bully his way through the media and into a fight, you know, so I'm not going to give him any more attention than he, de he deserves. Now, look, let me go over a few more things. Like I said, you know, I'm, my, my confidence is quickly gaining uh, for Gennady Golovkin and, you know, hang on, there's actually, look, you'll see me right there. I'm somewhere over here. If you look at that red carpet, I'm like off to the right over there. You'll, I'll, you'll see me in a minute. But anyway, it's quickly gaining. You know, uh, look at the mental aspect, okay? The mental warfare, which we know that is incredibly important. Okay, I think, you know, look, he already beat him in sparring. Now, I know a lot of you guys keep saying, oh, that was so long ago. It doesn't matter. But yet Canelo is the one talking about how it does matter. Canelo said, yeah, we did spar and... I remember things that he did back then that he still does to this very day, and I'm going to capitalize on I'm going to take advantage of it. Okay, so for all you people out there talking that shit, you know, because, that, look, that video has like 90,000 views right now, and there's a lot of people talking about how, oh, it doesn't matter, oh, it was bullshit, it was so long ago. Well, apparently it does. Apparently it fucking does, because right now Canelo Alvarez himself, you know, to this day, he thinks about it, okay? And he even said that, yeah, I'll take what I learned during sparring and I'll bring it into the ring, you know, on fight night. OK, on, on a September 16th, I will bring it into the ring. So, you know, it's relevant, like I tried telling you guys. So but, you know, the mental aspect, you know, uh, Golovkin's already in his head. You know, he already beat him. Like I said, this is like the big brother, little brother scenario. Gennady Golovkin is the big brother and, he, you know, he's going to teach him a lesson. That's what it is. OK, Um you know, I mean, look, things like, you know, letting Willie Mon Monroe Jr. hit him. You know, I mean, go back, you know, remember he'd like take a couple shots on the chin, that kind of, you know, look, those images are burned in Canelo's head, I guarantee you, because he's talked about them. You know, reporters have asked him about that. And, you know, I've even said that's like some <laughs> Ricardo Mayorga shit. It really is. But, you know, cuts the ring off beautifully uh, like no one else. OK, consistent pressure, you know, seek and destroy, adaptation, confidence. And, uh, you know, he always 
always answers back. That's what I like about Gennady Golovkin. You hit him, he will answer back. You know, he's not going to get hit w- without an answer. So I like that. So this, you know, that's the Gennady Golovkin I want to see fight night. You know, I said he needs to punch with Canelo. You know, none of this. Hang on, let me let me get this over. None of this bullshit. You know, trade back and forth, count. Yeah, of course, counter trade. That kind of. But don't don't let Canelo open up and, and try to look like a little badass. And, and the crowd's, like, oh god, Canelo, oh cheer, cheer, cheer. You know, and you got fucking Jim Lambley like, oh god, hard right hand. Oh my god. You know, none of that shit. You know, he needs to put that to bed immediately. Punch with him, you know? Because, look, I do you do you honestly think Canelo can knock out Golovkin? I mean, honestly, if you're a Canelo fan, do you honestly think Can- Canelo can knock him out? I mean, you got to remember, Gennady Golovkin has a fucking granite chin. There's no way. It's not going to happen, okay? Look, see that camo hat? That's me right there. But uh, it's not going to happen. You know, so like I said, I, I had to kind of remind myself of a few things here. But uh, I mainly wanted to show you guys the uh, the new video <clears throat> of Gennady Golovkin. It's a little promo video. I try to keep the channel updated. But but let me end it on this. The pay-per-view buys. Just, just you know, a little bit of knowledge here, okay? Gennady Golovkin Jacobs, 170,000 buys. Okay, Gennady Golovkin Lemieux, 150,000 buys. Now, Think about that. Compare, I mean, compare that to a Kovalev, Andre War, Mandela Bay. Twelve thousand seats filled. Only twelve thousand seats. Okay, Gennady Golovkin, Jacobs at Madison Square Garden, uh, sold out. Okay, they were at New York, sold out. Madison Square Garden will hold uh, tw- twenty-one thousand people. I mean, nearly double the attendance. Okay, uh, y- you know, I mean, you, I, I look at this, and you know, because people ask me, what do I think the numbers are going to do? Well, right now. You know, we got the shit show. We got the Mayweather McGregor show. So hang on, let me plug my charger in. Damn, damn. Hang on, hang on. Okay. All right, we're we're good. We're good. Look, there I am, right there. Bam. There's your boy right there in the camo hat. But uh, yeah, I think the Mayweather McGregor show it is going to take away from Gennady Golovkin, Canelo, and I. But but look. Let me end here. People need to remember, though, what else is going to take away from it? I'll tell you. Think about it. Go back. Liam Smith, Canelo. Okay? You know, we got this promise, this little teaser. Oh, yeah, Golovkin's next. You know, they bring Golovkin into the ring and, uh, you know, get the fans going. And then what do we get? We get, a, we get a fucking Canelo Amir Khan. Once again, you know, the fans bamboozled. Okay? There's a word for you. Bamboozled, right? Then what happens? We get Cantelo and Chavez. What the fuck was that? You know, that was like, I mean, and look, I was right. Look, that's me. I'm right here with Canelo Chavez, okay? And, you know, look, I gave Chavez a chance. I did. I did. You know, but it's, but really, even I said it in my videos, it's wishful thinking. I want Canelo to lose so bad. I cannot tell you. Maybe I hate him. I don't know. You know, people accuse me of hating him. I, I don't think I hate him. That's, that's very powerful. I don't think I hate anyone. But uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's pretty fucking close. It's pretty fucking close. So, you know, just he's arrogant. I don't like the the catch weights. I don't like you know bringing Amir Khan in there because look, this is boxing, man. People can die. Bringing Amir Khan in there. I mean, could you imagine what the fuck Gennady Golovkin would do to an Amir Khan? I mean, could you imagine? Look at Oscar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Millions of dollars. Cha-ching, motherfuckers. You know, so that's the problem I have, okay, you know, with uh, the whole pay-per-view bullshit because I think that that, that Oscar De La Hoya, you know, whenever he cal- – look, let me put it this way. When they calculate Gennady Golovkin Canelo, when they, when they tally up the numbers, when everything is said and done – Oscar needs to also take into consideration Canelo Smith, Canelo Khan, and Canelo Chavez because all three pay-per-views people watched because they were interested in Canelo Golovkin. So really, I think Oscar De La Hoya owes Gennady Golovkin a little bit of money because you know they were riding his coattail. That's what they were. They were you know they were just leading people on, thinking we're going to get the fight. We're going to get the now. The fight took two years. The fight should have taken place after what was it November 2015, I believe, after Cotto Canelo when. And Canelo won the WBC, and Miguel Cotto paid step aside money to Gennady Golovkin. Now, remember, Gennady Golovkin was the WBC interim. Where did he win the interim belt? Rubio won the belt from Rubio. Rubio was tied up in, in some legal bullshit. 
Gennady Golovkin should have been in there with Cotto. Cotto pays step side money. Canelo, Canelo gets it, vacates. Now we got this big bullshit problem with Canelo and the WBC and blah, 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 blah. And here we are. So, you know, hopefully, hopefully Gennady Golovkin can put it, just put an end to just all the bullshit and all the drama. And, and Canelo can go back to, you know, beating up on uh, on guys like Amir Khan. I mean, that that's what I'm hoping for. So, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Just uh, leave your comment below. What do you think? What did you think about that promo video? And, you know, what kind of chance are you giving Gennady Golovkin? I mean, has it gone up like me? Like I said, I originally, I was right down the middle. Now, now, I'm probably 60-40. So, anyway, guys, leave your comment below, and thank you for watching.